All right, welcome back to the Teacher's Tech Bar. Today we're going to be talking about Adobe Scan. So for those of you that spend a lot of time with our wonderful copy machines on campus, this video is for you. The Adobe Scan app is going to be a replacement for those copy machines because it's going to allow you to scan documents that are in paper and then quickly get them out to your students in a digital form. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to log into Adobe Scan, how to scan documents, how to edit those scans, and then ultimately how to share your scans. So let's go. So the Adobe Scan app is there in the fourth row here on my home screen, and it's that nice turquoise color Adobe Scan. And Adobe has a great suite of products that we have access to, the pro versions, because of a nice membership we have. So Therefore, if you say sign in with Google, you're going to have access to all those pro features and that's going to allow you also to save these documents you create in the cloud and not on your iPad. I'm going to hit j.adamsatrivers.org and we have an enterprise ID so because we're a company or a school account and so I'll tap on that and then it may ask you for your email address and password. After going through that, you'll get to this page where we are on Adobe Scan, so let's go. You have a few options here at the bottom. You can scan a whiteboard, a form, a document, what have you. I like to keep it pretty simple. Just select document, and I'm gonna show you how this can be used with a test that I want to return. So here are two pages of the test, but here's the first one, and I'm just holding my iPad over the document, and then I'm gonna tap the circle, the bottom of the screen. Perfect. Then here you can see it's automatically figured out where the document is and where the other components of the picture um, that are not the document are. So therefore I'm going to continue. If I want to adjust this at all, I can just tap and hold on any of these circles here and move them. Tap on the middle piece here that allows me to move it up or down. All right, but I think the one that they selected looks pretty good, so I'm going to hit continue. Now I've flipped over the page. I'm gonna hold it above, and you can see it says looking for document, and then bam, it took a picture without me even pressing anything, and then noticed where the document was again, and that looks good to me, so I'm gonna hit continue again. In this one, again, I just keep it pretty simple. I say adjust borders after each scan, okay. And now let's say that that's all that I want to share with my students. So I'm going to hit that picture on the bottom right with the two next to it. Tap and scan to review and save. Perfect timing for that little notification to pop up. And here is where I can do some editing and I can add a page if I forgot to. Um, looking at the bottom here, I can reorder the pages. So I'll tap on that. Let's say I put them in the wrong order. I'm just going to tap and hold and then move these around, which is a nice feature. Okay, but I have the right order. If you want to go back and crop the picture, you can do that. If you want to rotate, you know, maybe the picture didn't come out the right direction, you have that. Uh, color and cleanup, that's if you really want to spend time making this look very, very neat. Uh, the cleanup is kind of cool because you know how you get those black spots on the paper from a copy machine. So you can see one on the bottom right here. So I'm going to just draw right over that and you can see that little black spots from the copy format disappeared. Again, this is sort of an advanced feature if you want to waste a little bit of time cleaning everything up. So I'll hit that checkbox. If I want to change the name, I'm just going to go to that pencil above the scan and I can delete it. Perfect. Done. And then I'm going to hit save PDF in the top right. And you can see that it's saved to my account. And so all of these documents will be available to me as long as I'm signed in. And then if I want to go ahead and share those with students, I can hit that share button. And at the bottom, you see it says share a link, share a copy. Uh, I'll share a copy, which is the actual PDF. And then I can just go to Gmail or however I want to share it uh, and send that to my students. So that's how you use Adobe Scan to copy documents that are in paper so that you can get them into the digital space and share them when you are not able to hand out paper to people in person. Good luck. Play around with it and keep learning. Enjoy the app.